So you've logged into the Deep Freeze Cloud interface. Perhaps you have some policies applied to computers in your environment, and you want an easy way to um, easily uh, segregate those computers into different groups, possibly based on uh, a functional department or location. So the groups option within uh, the Deep Freeze Cloud platform is pretty nice uh, for a few reasons. So first and foremost, you can easily add any group you want, provide the name that you want, new group perhaps. You can make that group a subgroup of an existing group and you can just select that group from the drop down here. Perhaps I'll make this one a subgroup of lab workstations. And one of the fantastic things about the groups option in Deep Freeze Cloud is you can actually enforce a policy against that group. So you can select from your available policies. Uh, perhaps I'll select the uh, DF underscore SU, which uh, simply identifies that this policy contains Deep Freeze and the software updater service. What this enforce policy option does is it ensures that anytime I place a workstation uh, into the new group, that's a subgroup of lab workstations, it will enforce the DF underscore SU policy. Basically means if the Pharonix default policy has been applied to a workstation and we now move that workstation or computer into that new group, um, that the policy will be modified to the DF underscore SU policy. So one of the uh, really handy things um, about this is that you can actually uh, deploy a blank policy that contains no services enabled um, to all of your uh, computers. Perhaps those computers are located in five or ten different locations. You can then after the fact decide to create groups for each and every one of those locations or as I said earlier a functional uh, unit uh, of an individual location and uh, configure a, 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 an enforced policy against that group. So once you assign those uh, computers to the individual groups, the policy that you want to be applied to members of that group will automatically be applied to those computers. Now, one last thing as it relates to groups is if you are in an Active Directory environment, we also provide an Active Directory import utility. And what the Active Directory import utility will do is give you the ability to import your Active Directory structure. Now, we do not have the ability to import objects or automatically assign computers to the Active Directory groups that they might be in in your Active Directory environment. But uh, at the very least, you can work within the same structure. Once you have that Active Directory uh, structure, uh, imported into your group section of Deep Freeze Cloud, you can then assign computers to those groups just as they are in your AD. Uh, combine that with the enforce policy uh, option and uh, you really have a lot of flexibility around managing your computers uh, in a nice easy uh, easy way uh, that, uh, that will ensure your computers behave the way you expect them to behave.